I've known her since she was 11. Yeah. So she was 11 and I was 13. We actually um, met in a jazz class and I guess when we were 14 was like the first time we started dating. We were always really good friends and he was always telling me he liked my roommate so I was always trying to set him up with my roommate but I was like, oh, this sucks, you know? You can see all of the, the bridges. I think the city looks fake from above. Yeah. And then he would like go home. We would go home after the summer course and then he would tell me like, oh, I actually liked you. We just like dated on and off for like two and a half years. Mm -hmm. We were broken up when I got into the company and then he got in. It was like one of those times between the two and a half years where we were like off and I remember just being like, oh, I'm never gonna get rid of this person. Like really, I cannot get away from him. And then I remember telling my friend, I was like, I mean, I guess it's okay because then I can kind of like know what he's up to. You know, so I like hated it but kind of loved it at the same time. Now we're engaged. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Our lives are very centered around this place. We've all known each other since we were like 15, and some people even younger. You become bonded with these people you spend every day with, and you go through difficult moments and hard ballets, or you know, you achieve these big goals together, and so they become, you know, your, your closest friends. Due to the insular and demanding world of the ballet, it can often be hard to form relationships outside of the company. There is many an inter-office love affair at the New York City Ballet. I feel like everybody acts like they don't want to date a dancer, and you always say, it's like, oh, you know, I'll never date a dancer, I don't want to date a dancer, but I mean, it's hard enough to date anyone. There is dating within the company, there are my relationships within the company, there are marriages within the company. If you want to date a dancer and it works for you, great. If not, like... It's true. New York City is not find actually any... the easiest yeah. place to meet people. I mean, you're surrounded by beautiful people every day. You get so comfortable with them that, you know, why not? Why not? Let's date. <laughs> I, in a sense, am dating ballet. Our days here are long and hard. And we leave the theater at 10.30, 11 o'clock at night, every night. I'm exhausted at that point in the evening. And the last thing I want to do is go out to a bar and try to look cute and pick up a guy. It's nice finding someone who can understand or someone who just knows what you're, what you're dealing with. Like I had an ex-boyfriend that said, well, you don't have to do it anymore. You can just, <clears throat> you can quit. I'm like, no, I, I just can't quit. If you find someone here that you work with that understands this totally weird schedule we have, and to have someone just understand the inner workings of our day, it makes sense for people to date within the company. Sometimes dating, you know, lay people, all of a sudden it's just like, you know what, I, I don't want to see you this week, I'm exhausted. I need to focus, I just can't, sorry, and this could be anywhere in your relationship and sometimes someone's like, well, can't you make time for me? Literally, no. Like, I can't. I'm sorry. But next week I can. I think it's hard enough probably for somebody to understand what the girls do for a living, but, you know, for somebody to kind of comprehend why I would be doing what I'm doing for a living. Why well, you're wearing tights let and it Yeah, belt. and let alone appreciate it. But I like to joke with her all the time that I'm like, hey, listen, your husband can do the splits. She came in as an apprentice a year behind me. I thought she was cute, but she wasn't terribly interested in me at first. But... I thought he was making fun of me, so I ignored him for six months. <laughs> <laughs> and that was 11 years ago. <laughs> Matilda's not about a witch. She's not a little baby witch? No, she just has magical powers. It's kind of witchy. I told people, I was like, listen, I just got married because I could not deal with how awkward it was going to be if we broke up. <laughs> I was gonna have to see her every day. Breakups in the company can be interesting. I've dated within the company. Uh, it didn't work out, but we are now friends. If you're gonna get into a relationship with a coworker, you better be able to figure it out when you end it. As adults, we have moved on, and now he's like one of my favorite partners. In an instance where you're dating someone and you have to partner with them, it's it can be a little bit of a, a, a drama, but at the end of the day, when the curtain goes up, the outside things go away, they dissolve, and you have this job to do, and I don't care if you like me right now or not, you're gonna look at me, you're gonna smile, and you're gonna kiss me if the choreography demands it.
If I was to describe New York City Ballet in one sentence, I would say it's like a family. For me, it is my family. <laughs> like, we were just in rehearsal today, and I have my husband and my brother there in the same studio, so it's just kind of... For, for me, it is, it's all the closest people I know. This is my brother, Jared. <laughs> There's kind of a long history of siblings in this ballet company. Currently, there's the Fairchilds and the Staffords and us. And us. I w was worried that it would cause friction, either for me at work or for us as siblings, but um, it, was, it was fine from the start. And if anything, it's almost nicer having someone you're related to in this crazy world. This is your career. This is what you, you choose to do, and you have to choose it early. From a very young age, you're trained that we're going to treat you like adults.